Hey guys, it's Jen from Something Turquoise and I've got a quick computer screen video for you sharing just how easy it is to edit and print my word search gift wrap files that I've shared on the blog today for free. You'll need to have either Adobe Reader, which is a free software, or Adobe Acrobat, which is a paid software, installed on your computer to edit these files properly. So what we're going to do to get started is scroll all the way to the bottom of the post and click on the size of file that we'd like to download. I have 8.5 by 11 or 12 by 12. So once you click on the uh, little graphic there, it'll open this page and you can easily save it using this button here to your computer. I'm browsing right now with Google Chrome and so if you're not using Google Chrome, your saving buttons and options might be a little different. Since I've already saved this file to my computer, I'm going to close out of here and just open it with Adobe. This is the 8.5 by 11 file and this is the 12 by 12 and this is exactly what they'll look like when you up, um, open them with Adobe. To edit, you're going to click Tools and then Edit and then instantly every single letter becomes editable. So that means you can add any word, any saying, anything you'd like to this entire word search. You could even make a custom word search game for a friend if you'd like. So um, again, all you have to do to edit the file is click here and type your message. I'm going to type hello because I'm saying hello to all my fabulous readers that are watching this little video. Um, you can add really any saying you want, but just keep in mind that um, you want to keep sizing uh, specific to the project that you're going to be wrapping. So if you're wrapping a small box, you might want to put your words right here in the middle so that everything else can fold around that box. But if you're going to be uh, cutting a little piece down and stapling onto a gift bag, you might want to measure and kind of uh, see where it's going to land first. So if you're going to print the 8.5 by 11 here, there's really only one extra step that you need to take. Most printers want to print portrait, so all you have to do is click landscape and you're going to be good to go. If you're printing 12 by 12 for the first time using your Canon Pixama IP8720 crafting printer like I have, you might have to add um, a custom printing size first. So I've already done this on my computer, but what you would do is go to Page Setup, go to Manage Custom Sizes, and here you can name and add your custom printable size, you know, in just a few seconds. So I've already done that, so I'm going to click my 12 by 12 size, and you're going to see that instantly this is going to give the printer the correct information to print my file this large. It's on portrait, it's on actual size, and we're ready to go. So that's really the only steps that there are to printing and editing these awesome files. And I can't wait to see all of your guys' um, projects that you have created using these designs because uh, there's so many options that you have here. So um, make sure to come back to the blog or on Instagram and use the hashtag something turquoise DIY to share your darling projects with us because we'd love to see them and possibly regram them. Happy crafting!